Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by a pyramid of biomass. You should then be able to explain how biomass is lost between the different trophic levels. And finally you should be able to calculate the efficiency of biomass transfer. And this is for triple biology students only. In the last video we looked at the idea of trophic levels. Remember that trophic levels tell us an organism's position on a food chain such as this one. Now we can measure the mass of all the organisms at a certain trophic level, and scientists call this the biomass. Imagine that a scientist wanted to work out the biomass of caterpillars in a food chain. To do that, they would collect all of the caterpillars in an area and kill them. They would then dry them and weigh them. This gives us the dry biomass. Dry biomass is more useful than wet biomass, and that's because the moisture content of organisms can vary widely and produce inaccurate results. Now I should just point out that no scientist wants to go around killing animals, so instead they tend to look up the data that they need in scientific journals. Okay, now if we plot the biomass at each trophic level, then we get a pyramid of biomass like this one. In the exam you could be expected to plot a pyramid of biomass from data that you're given. As we've seen, trophic level 1 are the producers. These are plants or algae that use light energy to carry out photosynthesis. Now one key idea that you need to understand is that only around 1% of the light energy that falls on producers is actually absorbed and used for photosynthesis. Looking at the pyramid of biomass, you can see that the amount of biomass decreases for each trophic level. In the exam, you could be asked to explain why. First of all, you need to remember that biomass is the living tissue of an organism, including proteins, lipids, and carbohydrates. Going back to our food chain, imagine that the small bird has eaten 10 grams of caterpillar biomass. Only around 10% of the biomass in the caterpillar will end up as biomass in the small bird. In other words, only around one gram. There are several reasons for this. Firstly, not all of the material that the bird ingests, in other words, eats, is absorbed. Some is simply egested as faeces. Secondly, some of the biomass that is absorbed is converted into waste products of metabolism and is released. Now, you don't need to know about waste products in birds, but a good example in humans is urea. And lastly, a large amount of the biomass is used by the bird for respiration to release energy. Remember that as well as releasing energy, aerobic respiration also produces carbon dioxide and water. So some of the biomass is used to produce these waste compounds. The energy from respiration is used, for example, in movement. And in the case of mammals and birds, some of the energy is used to maintain a constant body temperature. So as you can see, the amount of biomass decreases for each trophic level. And in fact, a more realistic pyramid of biomass may look more like this one. This pyramid reflects the fact that only around 10% of the biomass at one trophic level passes to the next level. Now because of this, in most food chains, the number of organisms at each trophic level tends to decrease. And there are very few food chains with a large number of different trophic levels. Okay, now in the exam you could be asked to calculate the efficiency of biomass transfer as either a decimal or a percentage. Here's a typical question. In the course of a month, a cow consumes 300 kilograms of grass biomass and gains 15 kilograms of body mass. Calculate the efficiency of biomass transfer. Okay, to answer this question we need to use this equation. The efficiency equals the gain in biomass divided by the total biomass intake. Putting the numbers into the equation gives us an efficiency of 0.05. To convert that to a percentage, we need to multiply by 100. So in this case, the percentage efficiency of biomass transfer is 5%. This reflects the fact that cows move around and maintain a constant body temperature. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on pyramids of biomass in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.